Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mercer Gamer, and this is Backpack Hero. Um, what can I say about this game? Pixel art, check. Roguelite, check. Strategy, check. Um, overall, my very first impressions of the game are super awesome, and I want to bring this to you guys and make sure you know about it because it is an impressive game. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it and see what this game is all about. So when you're starting out, you're delving into the dungeon with just your backpack. And you're trying to basically manage this magical backpack and um, everything that you have in it. Um, I'll explain here in a second. So, for example, um, as you, when you start out, um, you have your sword, your shield, and then your consumable, uh, whatever that, that may be. And it's your job to manage your items however you want, and you can rotate them freely however you need to or want to. And combat plays something like... Um, uh, what game? Slay the Spire? Yeah. So as you can see here, you have your enemy's intent, and you can see that their their intent is unblocking. So items here, when you use them, they have a, an energy cost. Energy is uh, symbolized here over your character. And what you want to do is you want to basically make sure you're spending your energy wisely to win. So now you see here, um, this guy's trying to attack for 7. I can block for 7 using 1 energy, and then I'll use the rest on attacking. So on the next turn, we should be able to attack twice and win. There you go. So you level up, and when you level up, you have, to, um, you have the choice to expand your inventory however you want. I like to expand sideways first, um, since I started playing this game. Um, and here we have our very first choice, is um, our choices of weaponry. Um, right now we can only take up to three items out of what's on the floor, or whatever is up here. Um, that's also free for grabs, that doesn't count towards the three item limit. So let's see, um, first thing I want to do is, I want to pick up this um, heavy blade. I think I'll use it over my uh, wooden sword because it'll do... Um, it's one more damage and on top of that it adds um, a 5 slow debuff to the enemies. So we'll go with that. So next is um, a damaged knife. And we also have a water flask. I, I might grab the water flask over the damaged knife. Um, what I could also do is um, maybe shift things around right like this and now I can grab um, I still have two items to go I, I can take the seasoning because the seasoning is really good in this game uh, so what the seasoning does is it'll add five healing to any adjacent consumable um, even potions um, that for example this um, one is uh, add 25 armor to yourself um, this will actually give it, um, the seasoning will give it 5 extra HP, so any consumable you have in the game, it doesn't matter what kind of consumable it is, even if it's a poison potion, um, it'll still give you that heal. So we'll go with that for, for now. And we'll move on. That's basically the, uh, the gameplay loop that you're uh, gonna have to expect when playing this game. Um, but it is a lot of fun. Alright, so, um, he's attacking for 8, I want to do this, and then we'll attack twice. Oh, I can't attack anymore. Okay, I did take 1 damage because, um, that, that was not enough to, uh, block that. That one we completely blocked, so we're gonna block this completely and then we're gonna attack twice. That's combat done. Alright, so what do we have here? We have adjacent diagonal 
helmets and footwear get plus two block. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage. So we can't really uh, fit this in here right now. Um, well, actually, we might be able to. Hold on. Um, if we have this over here and this over here. Hmm. Can we though? No, even even if we uh, say goodbye to this armor. Hmm. Because this would be nice to have. Um, it also autom automatically it gives me two block each turn. Um. Maybe for now we just uh, we have to hold on to the sword because we we need some some kind of weaponry. Yeah, that's not going to be ideal. But uh, I think for now we'll just do this and uh, we'll pick up the the cleavers aren't that great really. We'll pick up, actually, we'll pick up the water flask because it will give us energy, and um, on top of that, um, it can work as an emergency heal with the seasoning. I, I like that. So we'll do that. And we'll move on. Um, we don't have a key. This is a locked door. Um, we currently do not have a locked um, a key, so we will come back to that later. Uh, merchants, um, I feel like that's too soon to visit right now. Um, because we don't even have gold. Um, this is actually not in our inventory. It's just um, items that are up for grabs uh, that don't count towards your limit. So we'll have to... Uh, uh, why did I... Huh. I didn't know you could uh, move to empty spaces. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, locked door when we uh, find a key. So we have, um, there's different types of enemies here. We have a rat wolf and then we have the uh, muskrat uh, brigand. These enemies are cowardly. Uh, what that means is they will flee if they're the only enemies or if there's only cowardly enemies on the board. So I usually suggest that you kill them first. So we'll do that. This is gonna be uh, a little bit painful, but that's fine. Um, this is why we have uh, the seasoning. This is where it shines. So we'll take out this guy first. And we can actually use one of our flask charges to finish him off. Sweet. So what do we have here? Um, slow. Ah, yes, because uh, I killed uh, that last enemy with the slow, um, with, the, with the heavy blade, it applied that, that uh, slow debuff. So um, we'll armor up and we'll attack twice. And we'll just keep on attacking. So every now and then also on the left side you can see here uh, it says reorganize um, now to claim this item. Uh, you can reorganize your uh, inventory in the middle of battle uh, but it'll cost you 3 energy. Um, but you can also um, when you do uh, reorganize you can also claim this item. But since we're full we don't want to be reorganizing right now. So we'll just leave it as is and we'll take this and we'll attack twice. We took a little bit of a beating there, but it's all good. So we're just gonna finish him off and we leveled up. So I want to keep expanding uh, to the sides, um, like I said before. Um, I, I prefer to expand the sides first when I play. So we're gonna do that. What do we have? Okay, so we have a shield. Adjacent in diagonal armor gain plus one block. 
So right now we don't have any armor, but I will still pick it up. Because um, it, it's still better. Um, it, it'll give you the same stats as um, the wooden shield of the rough buckler. Uh, but on top of that, um, uh, you get uh, an extra modifier for armor when you get it, if and when you get it. So we'll do that. Um, we'll also pick up this gold. We'll pick up this whetstone. Uh, the whetstone will um, apply a damage buff. Um, you have to use it. It costs one energy, but when you use it, it'll apply a damage buff to everything on that row or column. So together with a dagger, that might actually be a, a good synergy effect right there. Um, we could also pick up uh, um, another shield, but we don't need it. It's only one difference. So we'll pick up... We can't pick up anymore, actually. Never mind. So we'll do that. Move on. Um, there's another merchant here. Um, let's uh, take out this enemy here. And then we'll figure out the merchants. Ay, 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 ay. Did I not pick up the gold? Oh, no. Okay. Reorganize and get this item. We'll be fine. There's that. So, what this will do is it'll actually uh, buff your weapons for the rest of combat. So, um, three damage for the rest of combat is actually a lot when it when you think about it and it keeps adding up so we can do this and we'll add up this so now we have a plus six on our weapon we can also inflict a little poison there there we got another slash shield Piggy bank. Okay, we'll take that. So, uh, disgusting food gives you energy, but removes five HP. Um, you just think of it like rotten food. You eat it and you get sick. Um, but you can actually uh, remove that effect by setting it next to the seasoning, and it'll just nullify that effect. Pretty cool. So, I think we're at work right now. Let's move on. So now we can, uh, there's a random event here, an unknown event. Uh, but before we do that, I want to check out the merchants. Let's see what you got. You got a tunic. Um, I was actually hoping for that. Adjacent and diagonal uh, gloves and footwear get what, plus one block. So what, what this will essentially do, as well um, as buffing up your uh, other pieces of armor, is it will automa automatically trigger and it will give you 5 block each turn. Um, so that's something to think about, is you can have like an automatic defensive ability. Ooh, Philosopher's Stone, what does this do? I've never seen this before. Can be used once each turn, adds a 0 energy for each. Adjacent or diagonal consumable it gets one energy. Ah, that's a pretty big brain. Add six mana to, con to connected mana stones. A needler. Not gonna lie, that this looks tempting to uh, grab, but I, I don't think I have the money for it. Even if I sold my my, my stuff. We can we can sell the armor. We could sell all this other stuff. It isn't really worth much. Piggy bank is uh, for three, but uh, I think we need it. I I'd like to get the tunic at least, but we need to make space for it. How do we make space for it? Um. Okay, first let's let let's say we bought it. Um. Hello? Okay. L let's say we bought the tunic. Um, I want to set it on the right side here, and then it'll, it'll get the, that uh, plus one block from the shield. And then we'll stick the sword under here. Here, here. I 
I guess since we're not doing um, a poison kind of build, we can also sell the dagger. Um, well, actually, now that I think about it, the dagger is, is 8 damage. And it does poison. And it takes two slots. Um, the heavy blade is 8 damage. And it doesn't do any poison. But it does do slow when you kill an enemy. So maybe we go with a dagger. Maybe we do run a poison build in some capacity. So let's see here, here, here. Yeah. We'll move this here so like um, when you trigger it, it'll activate. We can't do that. And we'll... The seasoning is fine right there. Um, maybe we pick up another consumable. Um, we don't have the money for it though. We could pick up an herb. Um, the herb is kind of useless, but with the seasoning, it actually turns into something useful. So we'll do that. Um, still no keys. That's, uh, surprising. Uh, maybe this other merchant is gonna have some keys. No, no keys. Okay, um, so we're just mo gonna move on then. Um, kind of unfortunate that we didn't get any, but maybe the unknown event has keys. Who knows? Oh no. Mm. I saw that. I'm bad at these games. Ay ay ay. Uh, you don't want to match these because these are uh, curses. Oh, oh, I, I saw that. I know where it is. Yes. Okay. So I, I think I'll just take the... When a weapon kills an enemy, adds 6 rage to self, each turn hurts, deal 1 damage to self. Ah. So when a weapon kills an enemy, you add 6 rage to yourself. Um, I don't know what rage does, but we'll try it out. So let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, so what do we do? Um, let's... Let's, uh, I think we're okay on the shield. Let's... Let's buff up our stuff all the way and we'll heal. There we go. So now I'm doing 17 damage. Oh no, I forgot about this. Um, I can only use this once per turn, so I might as well just buff it up like twice and then attack with it every time. Oh, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, but that's fine. Or, um... I can use this. There we go. So now I'm doing... I, I could do this and see what Rage does. Rage. Um, will add damage when attacking with a weapon. So it'll add more damage to me? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, we'll armor up here. I wonder if the uh, damage to self um, goes through my armor or if, like, the armor absorbs it. I'll have to pay attention to that. Oh, actually, um, it, it looks like uh, the armor absorbs it. Nice. Okay, so we get this guy as attacking for 7 so we can armor up here. Now that won't do anything. And since we can only attack once, we can buff this up. And 34 damage in one go. Nice. So it looks like uh, this is a... I think I stumbled uh, across a, a very OP build because uh, it seems to be uh, very effective. So right now I'm doing 42 damage in one hit. Oof. That quickly adds up, actually. Okay, so we're gonna um, expand the sides again. Keep expanding the sides first. 
Or actually, um, maybe in anticipation of getting a helmet, maybe I should exp expand this top side first. Um, maybe we can predict, uh, ooh, a spear. Do, do we want a spear or do we want to keep our build? Um, let, let's uh, grab a heart ring. Increases our maximum health. And... We can get spaghetti. Energy block and we can make it also heal with the seasoning. Uh, we can take one more item. We can either take the cleansing potion or the herb. 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 Okay, that's good. Let's move on. Okay, we got two cowards in this setup here. Let's, uh... Block. Block. Use this. Hmm. I could heal here once, and then... I got two more energy. I could... How much damage am I doing now? 11? I could use this one more time and then hit this guy in the back. this item now. Each turn adds one dies to yourself. Ooh. That actually looks good. I mean, maybe maybe we do a, a dodge build? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Um, let's do this. And we'll armor up. I'm trying to get these guys to, uh die within the same time just so I can get the XP off of them. Uh, I don't know if the, if they free if I, if I get the XP for killing them or not. So we'll just armor up again. I'm trying to conserve as much health as I can here. This, this might end up backfiring on me. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is OP, isn't it? Can be used one time each combat, deals 25 damage. On taking damage, the item gets refreshed and can be used again, this combat. So, it can't, each turn hurts self, deals one damage to self. Wait, can I use, the, can it, do these synergize? Ooh, hold on. Now, now I gotta, uh, now I gotta do it. Hold on. Let's reorganize. This is actually the first time I've uh, ever uh, reorganized in the middle of combat. But, but I want this uh, weapon. So, what can I do with this now? Um, I have one more energy. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, no, I don't think I'm taking damage here. So what can I do here? Um, this is... Uh, math? Hello? Um, I can't math. Today's not the day. Okay, 32. Can I do this? Yeah, this will insta-kill this one. And then I can 
kill that one with the dagger and then I can just armor up. Okay. I don't know why that math was so hard. Get out of here. Alright, cool. A Berserker's Club. A Slime Sword. Each combat, another Slime Sword will be created at the end of combat. Uh, that seems very inconvenient. Why, why would I want another Slime Sword, though? Ooh, what's this? Pretty anklet. Adds... Uh, three haste to self when you kill an enemy. Hmm. Maybe we do this. Maybe maybe we uh, we just uh, collect all the uh, all the uh, the necklaces and the anklets. Oh, we did get um we did get the helmet. So hold on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorganize here a little bit. And what you can do is something like this. So uh, the knight shield it'll give anything that's adjacent or diagonal to it plus one block, and then. The spiked helmet will give itself every turn uh, two spikes and three block. Uh, the spikes is basically a damage reflect, so anything that attacks you will also get damaged. And that value can keep ramping up. So for now, um, I think this is a, a good uh, stopping point for this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this game is available for free for you to play on HIO. I will have a link for you in the description. Um, aside from that, um, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked it, I like this game a lot and I hope um, to cover it some more once it comes out in full release. And pro I'll probably make some more regular content around this um, even before it comes out in full release just because I love it so much. Um, that being said guys, I hope you all had a wonderful time watching. And remember to like, subscribe and comment, help me out with the YouTube algorithm, help me blow up. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.